Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can enhance isolated areas of our image using the adjustment brush in Lightroom. So here in the basic panel I will start by selecting the adjustment brush. The keyboard shortcut for the adjustment brush is the K key if you prefer to select it that way. You can see underneath the adjustment brush that there are many different attributes that we can load that brush with in order to make changes. If I want to reset all of these attributes at once, I can double click on the word effect. Now let's take a look at the image. What I'd like to do is I'd like to dodge in some of these areas of the trees. So I'm going to increase the exposure value to maybe somewhere around one stop. Now in order to adjust the settings on my brush, I'll scroll down and I'm also going to close the film strip temporarily by clicking on the small triangle underneath it just to hide it so I have a little bit more room to show the panel that has all of these adjustments on it. So I can change the size of the brush, making it larger or smaller, either using the slider or I can use the keyboard shortcuts. The left bracket will make my brush smaller and the right bracket will make my brush larger. I'll just show that over the sky so that we can get a little bit better visual there. If I want to change the feather amount or the softness of the edge, then I'll use the feather slider. Moving it to the left gives me a harder edge brush. Moving it to the right will give me a nice soft feathered edge brush. I can also do that with keyboard shortcuts using the shift right bracket to get a softer edge brush, using the shift left bracket to get a harder edge brush. So because I want to just paint a little bit of light into these areas, I actually want a nice, large, soft edge brush, and I want to decrease the flow. I don't want this negative one stop to all happen at once. I want to slowly be able to paint in order to dodge or lighten up some areas. So I'm going to decrease the flow amount, maybe down to around 40. Now every time I click and paint in the leaf area, I'm actually building up or I'm adding a little bit of light in that area. So I've clicked a number of times and I want to see the overlay of the area that I've painted. So I'll hover my cursor on top of the pin. You can see that red overlay. I can also show the overlay by tapping the O key. And if I wanted to change the color of the overlay, I could add the shift key and then tap O. And you can see that each time I tap the O key with the shift key down, it will cycle through the different overlay modes. All right, let's go ahead and tap O again to toggle that off. And then I'm going to continually click here in order to just lighten up some areas, just dodging some of those darker values. Now, I want to make additional adjustments, but I want to actually darken down the sky now. So what I'll need to do is scroll up and click where it says new so that I can add a new pin and a new adjustment. In this case, I want to decrease the exposure just a little bit. Then I'll come down and I'm going to increase the flow amount a little bit because I want to build this up a little bit more quickly. I'm also going to increase the size of the brush using that right bracket and then just paint in the sky area here to darken it down. I might also want to add a little bit of contrast. So while that pin is still selected, I can increase the contrast slider. And I might also want to add a little bit of clarity. So I'll increase that as well. Now, if I want to toggle on and off the changes that I've made, we can use this little light switch at the bottom of the panel to show a before and after. I can see that I might want to paint a little bit more in this area right here. And of course, if I wanted to return back to my other pin and dodge a little bit more, I could select that pin. Then I'd want to make sure that I'm paying attention to the flow. I'd probably want to set that back down again. And then we could add to that, just brightening up these areas a little bit more. Now finally, I want to show you one last great feature of this tool. Again, I'm going to click New, and this time I'm going to reset all of the sliders and then just decrease the saturation. I want to remove the saturation from this sculpture right here. But in order to do this more effectively and more efficiently, I'm going to scroll down, increase the flow amount, and turn on Auto Mask. So what Auto Mask does is wherever I place the hot spot, which is those crosshairs in the center, Lightroom is going to sample the colors and tones below that 
and then it's going to spread out whatever adjustment that I'm making until it finds an edge and then it's going to automatically mask based on that edge. So I want to get a little bit smaller of a brush and then I will click and start painting in this sculpture area here. You can see that it's desaturating that area and I don't have to be quite as precise as I would have to be if I was actually painting without this auto mask feature turned on. And by the way, as I'm painting here, the auto mask feature, you can toggle it on and off by just tapping on the A key. And we might want to take a look at the overlay in just a moment. Let's tap the O key. You can see how it's automatically masked this so that it's not affecting the sky area. I'll tap O again to hide that. And I think I'll make one more change. I just want to increase my shadows in that area, just brightening them up a little bit and maybe even increasing the exposure just a wee bit more. There we go. So as you can see, it's really easy to make selective adjustments using the adjustment brush in Lightroom. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.